Karina Pre back here with Amberlynn. Amberlynn Reed planning for a six minute straight video. In this, she's titled it with her own name, referring to herself like she's done before. So she uploaded this video two days ago with her 100 days of streaming. She didn't up streaming 100 days of uploading, which originally wasn't 100 days of uploading. It was originally 100 days of weigh-in. So, I mean, no wonder I'm confused. She's just changing it all the time. <laughs> um, But I was starting it to see if there was an intro. There's no intro. It looked like she's just, like, vlogging. Even though that's what she does normally anyway. It's like, I think... I feel like she's just going to give excuses. Like, that's the title of the video, complaining. And it's so funny because she put it up there, and I thought she was, like, it wasn't her. Like, it wasn't her channel. I thought it was just another channel, like, complaining about her. So that means she's obviously paying attention to what other people are doing. Like, well, if I just make it look like it's not me, I think more people will watch it. I'm like, okay, Amber, you do that. I like this red spaghetti strap she's got going on. Pillow Mountain looks less pillowy. Let's... Let's see what she's up to. What's going on today? So I was gonna film like a Q&A style video today, but I'm gonna be honest, I have been super sluggish today. Like I got- I mean me too, like her and I have a very similar sleep schedule I think, even though I'm, I started work. Yesterday was my first day at my new job, so that's exciting. Even though I didn't work today, it'll, it'll pan out eventually no sleep i could not fall asleep like i was not tired i had caffeine yesterday which was a really bad idea on my end that's kind of my problem too i'll start drinking a bang at like five o'clock in the afternoon i don't even i don't feel like i drink it because oh i need to stay up I drink it because it tastes good I like bang and as you guys know caffeine gives me heart palpitations and i palpitation what I don't get with her and her words is, I don't know if anyone's discussed this, but she reads. She said she reads all the time. We've seen her reading. We've seen her go through books. She must have had a high reading level as a kid. And I'm sure teachers would have been like, this is how you say it. And you went to American English class. You, you know what you're doing when you're saying these words the way you're saying them. Let me just put Amber. You you know. I have trouble sleeping, like worse than ever. I caffeine and I just we aren't friends, you know what I'm saying? So that was a struggle. I didn't fall asleep till noon. I know a lot of people are like, what did you say? I didn't sleep the whole night and I fell asleep at noon. I didn't <laughs> See so okay, since I had to work to get my sleeping schedule in order. If I was her and I could stay home and just do whatever, I'd probably do that. I'd straight up do that. The other day I stayed up till 9 a.m. I'm like, I'm going to do it. I'm going to stay up so I can keep my sleeping schedule order. I was just like this. Don't get comfortable. Don't get comfortable. I got comfortable. And I slept from 9 a.m. till 4 in the afternoon. The day before my work day. Hmm. My orientation. Good. Go me. And then since I didn't have today to work, I stayed up late last night. Will I ever get it fixed? I don't know. Hopefully, for my job's sake. And I didn't wake up until 5 p.m. Perfect. I hated it so bad. I hated waking up. I wanted to just keep sleeping, but I slept pretty much my whole day away. So Same. I'm going through this like stage where I really, really need to figure out a sleeping schedule and I need to figure out how to make one. So on top of that, actually yesterday I noticed that my lymph node on this side is like really, really Oh. Lymph node? Lymph node? You get Have you have you said lymph node before? Is that something I've missed? Is it, is it Noid, the pizza guy from the 1990s Little Caesars commercials? The lymph Noid is coming to get you. And your weight. 
instead of your pizza. <laughs> what? No. Really <clears throat> hurting. Um, if I'm pronouncing that wrong, I'm sorry. Lymph. You knew. You knew it from the beginning. How would you just assume that every other word you said correctly and then be like, maybe this one I'm not saying correctly. I know I'm saying palpitations correctly. Lymphoid? Maybe I'm not. You knew. Lymphoid, lymph node. Either way, um, no. it's not feeling really good. And a few days ago, I had a sore throat. I do not get sick often, you guys. I, I rarely get sick. Maybe a I used to get sick really easily, but now, since I've been doing keto, plug, 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 I haven't gotten sick since I started. So, so far, so good. So maybe, maybe if you stick to a certain diet, it'll help rebuild your body and your cells. And, you know, whatever you decide to do, whether it's vegetarian, veganism, keto, whatever, I don't really care. They're all better than what you're doing. I'm just saying. A couple times a year, really. So, I don't know if it's like allergies, the weather change, whatever it is. I feel like I have like a little mini cold situation. Yeah, okay. So, she says weather changing. Probably. I will get sick every time the seasons would change. Especially in my home state because we actually had all four seasons. <laughs> Unlike the state I'm living in now. Where it's just hot all the time, all year round. So you don't really get fall. I mean, leaves will come off a tree, but that's about it. You can't even you can't even feel fall in there. It's just pseudo pseudo every season here. That's what that is. But it's nice. I get to wear shorts in every month. So you know, you, you pick your battles. Trying to happen, and it's just like. And on top of that, I've been having some major anxiety today. Just like stress and just things that I just, that's on my mind. And it's just been stressful for me lately. And I'm trying really hard to just like keep up my momentum with the YouTube. Anxiety is really hard. Trust me, from someone who has it, I know. You just gotta, I try to, I'm gonna tell you, even though you can't hear me. Same things I tell other people I know who have anxiety. Um, you, you know, breathe in, breathe out, in through your nose, out through your mouth. Try meditation. I don't know if you give that a go, but it's the best thing I've ever decided to do. Keep drinking water. Hello. I love this water bottle. It's from Target. I don't know if they make it anymore, but you what the plan is you're supposed to drink half your body weight in ounces a day so if you weigh 200 pounds drink 100 ounces basically i'm right now i'm 207 i gained a pound so this week so i would be drinking like 20 blah point blah 200 blah point blah uh but i just drink like I'm like i'm not gonna drink over 100 ounces because it's hard so i'm sure trying to drink as many ounces as she has to would be really difficult <laughs> But keeping yourself hydrated will help with anxiety and the sleeping schedule that too and there's a whole there's a whole list as you've told plenty of people amber just google it just google it there's such a wide variety of things you can do to help you you just gotta help yourself to help you that's all you gotta do youtube videos and sometimes i just really i don't want to film i'm gonna be honest and it's kind of, it's been kind of like that today for me. And I'm just like very sorry. And I think that's another reason why I've been filming mukbangs. I've been trying to not make them super unhealthy. I'm not trying to. Even if you don't feel like filming, which you have every right to do, you don't have to make it a mukbang to make it interesting. Like mukbangs are only interesting depending on like, who the person is or what they talk about because your mukbangs have not been that interesting because you've been talking about and there's stuff I'm sure you don't want to talk about that other people want you to talk about but you're not going to because you haven't because you never have and you never will so just instead of like if you're not feeling like you said you're gonna do the Q&A do something like that 
write a list of things that you think would make a good video. I've done that before. And but write down what in that list would make it good. And you'd be like, ah, scrap that idea, whatever. So I can understand what you're going through, dear. Ah. Uh, trigger anyone or make people think that I'm just stuffing my face with junk. Are mukbangs triggering? I've never thought about that before. It's just mukbangs are an easier type of video to sit down and just film. And I'm already eating the meal anyways, and I want to sit down and talk to you guys. And I enjoy watching mukbangs, I enjoy filming them. You know, I'm not sitting there and like eating a lot of just like bad for you foods. I know a lot of people. So you say that with the camera on, but if you're filming mukbang and you're only eating healthy food, then I pretty high guess that after the camera's off, you're eating food that you wouldn't eat on camera. I mean, you've done it before with other things, but you're just like, well, let's just let them think I'm only eating the monk bob foods. You can't fool anybody. <laughs> you've been trying. You've been trying that for years. It hasn't worked. Would rather me just eat a few veggies instead of eating off of a family tray or um, chicken without the skin or, you know, there's always something that I'm doing wrong. And I've just come to terms that like, I gotta live life for me. What works for me is what works for me. You've always had to live life for you. That's almost like one, that's the point of your channel. It's about you, it's about yourself. You're not like a sketch comedy show or anything. You're not a reality TV show, which I feel like you've made yourself into. <sighs> Just, when you say live for yourself, that doesn't mean, to a certain aspect that says live how you want, yes, but also don't be killing yourself. Don't be selfish. Don't be like, I can do whatever I want, it's my life. You have to care about your body, your friends, your family, your girlfriend, your girlfriend's family, your animals. <laughs> you have to care. Because your roommates, because if you don't care about all those things around you, and show that you don't, and it's gonna start crying. You haven't been for me, and yeah, so that's why there will be more mukbangs in the future, and that's why there will be more mukbangs in the future. Did you just say that? You're already planning to be like, you know, I'm just gonna go back to the eating channel. I don't even care. If that works for you, great. As long as you work with it, make that within your macros, make that within your calories. Don't over exceed. Like if you have your mukbang and you and you put it in your like my fitness pal and you're like these are this so many calories for my lunch or my dinner or whatever. When your next meal comes along, don't go over it. <laughs> you. And I know I do not do it for any other like creepy reason other than just the fact that I enjoy filming them. So you say that, <laughs> but I have Googled your name before and I'm sure you have too, where I've just been like, wait, I want to look up some more about her. And it would have links to like the videos you film on YouTube, but they were uploaded on different sites for creepy reasons. And I'm like, girl. <laughs> I mean, if you, like, if you really care that much, yes, it's the internet, and once you put it on there, you put it out there forever. But you can go to websites and be like, hey, this is my video, this is my footage, this is me in it. Take it down. Please and thank you. Some people will work with you. Some sites, I, I don't know about most, but some will. Um, and I enjoy watching them, and I know a lot of people also enjoy watching them. So yeah, um, oh yeah, last night was the first episode of the new American Horror Story. I haven't watched the new episode of American Horror Story because I haven't watched the last season because the idea of planes crashing gave me anxiety, so I avoided it for a while. But now I'm ready to watch it, but it's not uploaded on any platform yet. <laughs>
<laughs> so eventually. I've heard some theories. I don't want to give any spoilers or anything like that for the people who haven't seen it yet or Sweet. anything like that. So me, Becky, Eric, and Ricky, we all watched it together. We actually are going to be rating every single episode. So rating, rating, rating. You're, are you rating them? Is this, is this wow? Are you going for the horde? <laughs> you just go at your TV while American Horror Story is playing and you're just, just like, Leroy Jenkins! Just fucking... <laughs> I'm sorry. It was the way she said the word. I just had this play in my head. <laughs> I'm so pretty sure you mean rating. We all rated it and we divided it by four because we wanted to get an average. So okay. the first episode, okay. it's an average of 5.1, which is... Rating. Got it. I mean, I don't enunciate my words that much. I'm a mumbler. I completely understand. It's my Nerticon accent and the fact that I'm a mumbler. It's a bad combo. <laughs> but then still made me laugh. It's not very good. We're all kind of, I guess, skeptical about what's going to go on this season. I think Ricky liked the first episode better than any of us, and I think I liked it the least. So, you guys definitely should watch it and give your input. But yeah, this was mainly just like a video to let you guys know, hey, here's my video for today. I'm sorry, it's not like content. Hey, here's my video for today. It's about how I don't want to upload a video for today. And about a TV show I watched. Better than nothing, I guess. This is not content. This is just like, hi, update, how are you? <laughs> because I just, I, real life, real life is currently happening right now. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. Look what I finished, The 101 Poems About My Ex-Boyfriend by Trisha Paytas. I finished- See, you read so much. You're, you probably have a better brain than I do because you keep it going with reading. I don't read that much. And you got all that stuff going. Just announce your words better. <laughs> the way you know how they're supposed to be said. Good try and trick Google. Finished it. I finished it last night. I could not put it down. Ugh. I was able to read the whole book in about an hour. Loved it so much. And I know a lot of people are skeptical about like who it's about. Oh my god. Why do you keep saying that? We all know who it's about. We already discussed this. Who? <laughs> On what forum are they like, gee, Trisha Paytas is real good at not sharing who the ex-boyfriend was. We have no idea. And shoot, she's so good at making a buck. She may have snuck in some poems from other boyfriends. Not from four other boyfriends. Wow. Big brain time. Focus. I know a lot of people are like skeptical about who it's about and it's obvious if you guys have been following Trisha and you guys followed her relationships and her recent relationship, you know who it's about. Like, it's obvious because, like, she's a very honest person. You said it's obvious, like, three times. And so have I. You, if you follow Trisha, if you watch Trisha, you know what it's about. If you don't, then you probably don't. Blah. When it, when it came to, um, Jason, and they showed a lot of their relationship, and, yeah. I said it like that because I wanted to sound superior for knowing who it was about. It was just a really good book. I was actually like shocked about a lot of things really and it was very like rated R. So <laughs> I don't know if like young- It's Trisha. It's gonna be rated R. If you follow her on Twitter, you would know that. A lot of minors shouldn't be following her on Twitter, by the way. Children should be like, you know, diving into that. But it was a really good book, so I recommend it. So I think I'm gonna end the video here. And I hope you guys are doing good, doing better than me. I really, really hope. Um, just keep me in your thoughts. I mean, it sucks your mind's going through stuff, I get that. But a lot of people who, I wouldn't, I wouldn't say are in your fan group, but watch you and keep an eye on what you're doing, are doing better than you, and we just want you to do the same. We want you to be better. You want, we want you to join us in 
being better. <laughs> thoughts regarding like just everything that's going on with me and I know I can't share um absolutely everything but just know that like I'm trying my hardest okay but anyways I hope you guys enjoyed this video I'm I know I'll take that with a gram of salt because I have gone through about some depression where I haven't wanted to try but I know when I could have given more effort Trust me. For sure a lot of us have. Because you just sit there and you're just like, there's a difference between I don't want to and I can't. And a lot of the times when you're super, super depressed, you can't. And I get that. But you just have to find what works best for you. If you can't get up to take a shower, maybe find a baby wipe. Or if you have like face wash wipes. If you can't like get out of the bed to do like walking or anything try to just keep doing leg exercises and stuff and move around and like clap your arms and whatever you need to do just find out what is the closest level of i can you can do that's all i want <laughs> no no one did but i know sh don't shortcome yourself you can do so much more than you think you can ever hope you guys appreciate another video i don't know <laughs> but i'll see you guys in my next video bye bye ah. so that was the end of that she uploaded that not yesterday but the day before and yesterday she didn't actually upload a video for her 100 days of uploading so i can't react to that then but i can react to the fact that she oh my that Teen Titans Go preview. <laughs> Gross. Anyway, I can react to the fact that she, like, we all understand she's going through a rough time, but who's going through the most rough time is Becky's mom, and then Becky's mom's family around her, you know, so the sister and stepdad, blah, 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 blah. You know, all, all the people that obviously care about her. But you need to be there for Becky if you're not there physically be there spiritually so if you're saying you're having a rough time just because someone else is i get that because i understand like being an empath but it's not about you <laughs> and that's what a lot of these like yes it's your channel so it's about you but that's what so many of these videos i have to deal with becky's mom and her situation have been becoming basically you're just like well since basically what I've seen from other people before is well something's going on with someone else and they're having like people care about them and they're having people around them and you're like I need something going on with me I need something mentally going on then you find something out like you always have to make it about you and I'm not saying your feelings aren't valid, but we also know you have a history of manipulating people. So we're putting that out there. So, hey, I'll see y'all in the next video. Whenever she decides to upload it, if it's a mukbang, probably. Let's take your bets. Place your bets now. <laughs> uh, I wonder what, I wonder what she's going to eat in the next one. But hey, thanks for checking out my video. See you next time.